those actually are problems for the whole of Europe, just as we have you know, uh, regions in the East, etc., that also, um, and my own uh, country, which faces economic disadvantage, uh, what we should have is a, is a common European solution to regions that are poor performing, not expecting uh, Catalonia uh, to continually pay out of its own resources alone for the problems uh, of the rest of Spain. Because ultimately, uh, uh, that doesn't solve uh, the problems of southern Spain, which are, uh, uh, you know need a different solution. Because clearly, they they are uh, they've been there for a long time. It also creates problems here in Catalonia because you you're simply now not where you should be in terms of your infrastructure. You have great potential, but you're being held back because you simply don't have the resources to invest. Governments don't regenerate communities and regions. Regions regenerate regions. It has to be done by marshalling resources from within. And you've got to find local solutions. And so, you know, just giving out money from Madrid to Andalusia continually, indefinitely, does that, does that in itself will not solve the problems of Andalusia. You have to find local solutions. Uh, you have to find uh, local ent uh, enterprise and innovation uh, and use the money in a smarter way rather than seeing it as a subsidy which will always be there and therefore we don't need to worry about our problems. So yes, I think, that, well, I th I think there's, a, there's an European Championship uh, competition in, in independence for small countries at the moment, isn't it? We're all wondering who's going to get there first. Will it be Scotland? Will it be Flanders? Will it be the Basque Country? Or could it be Catalonia? Uh, and uh, you know, hats off to the winner of that prize because I think that uh, as soon as we get the first, and it, yes, it could be Scotland. Of course, we we have the referendum definitely coming now in 2014, and if Scotland gets there, then obviously it sets a clear legal precedent. But it also in, will inspire people. It'll inspire people uh, in my country in Wales, but also I'm sure here uh, in Catalonia as well. Um, you know, the long-term message for Catalonia is a very positive one, right? Um, uh, small countries do very well. Small countries with relatively large uh, cities do even better. So Catalonia is in the sweet spot, if you like. It has some uh, large, it has a large, important European city like uh, Barcelona, which is a kind of center for innovation. Um, and it's a small, compact country as well. And those are the kind of places that seem to do well. When we, when we look back beyond the, you know, the, the last few years, when we look back over 30 years, that's the kind of secret sauce, if you like, of economic success. But what you don't want is to have one uh, of your hands tied behind your back. If you have economic sovereignty, which comes through independence, then you're able to do what these other small countries have done, which is able to, to, you're able to play to your advantages, invest in your infrastructure, and through that, you know, realize your potential.